Can there be a galaxy older than time? Hubble, our old space telescope, once spotted a blurry patch of light, but for a long time it was not clear what it really was. Now the JWST has delivered the shocking reality. The patch of light is a huge old galaxy. Could this new discovery of a physical impossibility now catapult us into a whole new dimension of space? The JWST has revealed this mysterious galaxy with unprecedented clarity. Now we know details of its size, mass, and stellar population. Hubble had already provided data indicating that GZ9P3 is most likely an amazingly well-developed galaxy. But Hubble's images were too blurred to make really clear predictions. Now, a new era has dawned, and with the James Webb Space Telescope, we have one of the most modern instruments of modern science at our disposal. The JWST has now also shed light on the mysterious light spot, and GZ9P3 is turning out to be a scientific sensation. It sounds fantastic, but this galaxy is possibly one of the oldest in the universe. It's probably even older than that. GZ9P3 could be older than the universe itself, and that would mean that we are not looking into the beginnings of the universe, but into a completely new dimension of science. JWST reveals GZ9P3 in unprecedented detail. Did you know that there has never been any real evidence for the Big Bang? All cosmological models were based on pure speculation, model calculations, and probabilities. They were a construct until JWST showed us the truth. GZ9P3 is so old, so large, and so dense that its formation must have actually taken place before the Big Bang. It takes billions of years for galaxies of this size and maturity to form. But GZ9P3 existed in this splendor and complexity only a little more than 500 million years after the Big Bang. Its formation would therefore predate the Big Bang by several billion years. The discovery raises questions as to how a galaxy of this size and maturity could exist in the supposedly young universe. And we have to ask ourselves whether the universe was really young 13.3 billion years ago. Scientists must now at least rethink their previous models and assumptions about the formation and evolution of galaxies. GZ9P3 is definitely one of the oldest galaxies ever observed, and we have known of its existence not only since the launch of the JWST. When Hubble first imaged the galaxy, scientists did not believe what they were seeing. A blurry patch of light that could only be a galaxy or a very massive black hole with a very bright accretion disk, either of which would have been a scientific sensation or even an impossibility at a time just 510 million years after the Big Bang. But researchers could not agree. They could not say exactly what GZ9P3 really is. So the discovery was put aside. And for a long time, scientists continued to believe in the Big Bang and the slow evolution of galaxies and the universe. Now, the JWST has revealed that GZ9P3 really is a massive and mature galaxy, home to several billion stars. The galaxy has a complex shape with two dense cores, suggesting that it was formed by an early merger of galaxies. Some important morphological parameters further support this theory. Morphological parameters are metrics that scientists use to quantify the shape and structure of galaxies. These parameters help to understand the evolution and dynamics of galaxies. One important value, for example, is the Gini coefficient, which is 0.61 for the galaxy GZ9P3. The Gini coefficient is a measure of the equal distribution of light or mass in a galaxy. A value of zero means that the light or mass is evenly distributed, while a value of one means that it is concentrated at one point. A Gini coefficient of 0.16 indicates that the light in the galaxy GZ9P3 is relatively concentrated, which is typical for a galaxy with a bright center or dense cores. Another of these parameters showed how the light is distributed in the brightest regions of the galaxy. For GZ9P3, these values showed evidence that the light is distributed in the 20th percent of the brightest parts of the galaxy. These brightest regions of the galaxy are relatively well distributed, further indicating a complex structure and possible merging. The asymmetry value is another way of measuring how symmetrical or evenly distributed the light is in a galaxy. 
A symmetric galaxy has an asymmetry value close to zero, while an asymmetric galaxy has a higher value. In the case of the galaxy GZ 9P3, we have an asymmetry value of 0.35, and this discovery indicates that the galaxy has some irregularity or asymmetric distribution of light, which often indicates disturbances due to interactions or mergers. It is truly a wonder what the JWST can offer us. The data provided by this telescope is a scientific treat. GZ 9P3 and the harsh consequences of the discovery for almost a decade, the scientific world was eagerly awaiting the launch of the new telescope. Then came the shock. The JWST did not show us the young universe as scientists had long imagined. It showed us galaxies that are too old to have existed in a universe that had a sudden beginning 13.8 billion years ago. The JWST images showed and show something completely different right from the start. The universe must be older or we have been imagining something completely wrong. It's possible that our cosmos is quite different from what we thought. The discovery of GZ9 P3 therefore more than challenges our understanding of galaxy formation in the early phase of the universe. The formation of galaxies was certainly a direct consequence of the formation of matter and the formation of the first stars in the young universe. When the first stars burned up in supernovae, they shot altered elements through the universe for the first time supposedly enabling the formation of further generations of stars and galaxies. However, the size and maturity of the galaxy discovered and confirmed by JWST suggests that rapid star formation and complex galaxy mergers were already occurring at this early stage of cosmic history. All these discoveries do not fit into the old worldview. Galaxy Mergers in the Early Universe have you ever wondered how galaxies actually formed? Scientists used to think that the first collections of stars became more and more complex at some point. Then, the first star clusters came together to form larger and larger star clusters, and these many galaxies began to migrate through the increasingly expanding universe. Later, more and more galaxies came together, further mergers took place, and galaxies were formed. Today, we have beautiful shapes of disks, spirals, rings, and some galaxies even look like hats. The shapes are still a wonder of science, and so far, researchers have explained the geometry and synchronicities as being favored by physical forces during the mergers. This can still be beautifully observed in galaxies in the universe today. After mergers, their shapes become even more complex and even more beautiful. Over the course of billions of years, complex galaxies have grown from what were initially confused clusters of stars. But how can there be galaxies like GZ 9P3? They don't fit the picture. And GZ 9P3 is not the only one. We now have dozens of pieces of evidence that almost all galaxies in the early universe were this advanced. So where could the mistakes have been? Here lies the error. What few people realize is that there are more than a dozen alternative explanations for the origin and true nature of the cosmos. One theory, for example, states that our universe was already quite finished from a kind of blueprint that served as the basic matrix. The blueprint could possibly have been the remnant of a predecessor universe or come from a source that we have not yet identified. The theory also coincides with the idea of the cyclical universe, according to which our cosmos comes into being, grows and fades away, only to come into being again. Other ideas have long postulated an infinite universe, both spatially and temporally. This means that there was no beginning, nor will there be an end. And there is almost as much evidence for these ideas as there is for a cosmos that began with a Big Bang. So. Have we been wrong for almost 100 years? Yes, we probably have. Just like the people who believed in a disc-shaped Earth were mistaken. It's not a bad thing to be wrong. What is less nice, however, is when scientists don't want to admit their mistakes. This is exactly the kind of phenomenon we are currently facing. Many researchers don't want to admit that the evidence is overwhelming and that galaxies like GZ 9 P3 prove that conditions in the early universe were completely different or that the universe was never young. An interesting theory that we should definitely examine in this context is the steady state theory, which proposes that the cosmos itself is eternal. 
This eternal field or space is fed by various sources that bring fresh energy or matter into space. The sources could explain the movements within the universe, which we may have mistakenly interpreted as expansion. What is particularly exciting about this theory is that the sources of force and matter in our universe could be fed by a parallel universe. Imagine that white holes in other dimensions suck in negative matter and spit it out as positive matter in an as yet undiscovered form. Similarly, our black holes could be stars in another world. If a star explodes here and breathes its last breath, it could be born in another world at the same moment. This would make sense insofar as these fantastic ideas are absolutely compatible with quantum field theory. They don't really fit into the worldview of classical Newtonian physics or Albert Einstein's rules of general and special relativity. But all these branches of physics have never been able to describe the true nature of the universe. If we really live in a multiverse, galaxies like GZ9 P3 could also point to mirror worlds or other dimensions. So, we are living in an exciting and thrilling era of science and new discoveries. Revolutions like this only happen every few hundred years, and we are now witnessing our world changing in dramatic ways. Subscribe to the channel now and be part of every new video.